Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sunir from Hashtag and today we are taking a look at the Infernus ROM 4.0 for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Let's get right into the video. Now starting off with the user interface, it does look a lot like the S7 interface by default but I have applied the Marsh Pop mod and it looks a lot more like the S7 but the apps were pre-themed on this uh, ROM so I don't know if that is added by the mod or not and this widget that I'm using is uh, from the app that is known as X widget and it doesn't come with the Marsh Pop mod but uh, yeah the mod is pretty good it gives you the notification panel and the lock screen and also the themed apps if you have the Allen 95 ROM this ROM comes with the usual slew of Samsung features such as the edge screen and also the air command menu from the Note 5 so it does have those features the apps are themed to look like the Samsung Galaxy S7 or uh, rather the Note 5's Marshmallow and obviously it's uh, running on top of Android 5.1.1 that is uh, still lollipop and multitasking is all right on this rom i wouldn't say it's perfect but it's certainly better than others it's not as good as cyanogen mods ram management but as you can see it is pretty good but it is a bit uh, back and forth so it isn't that consistent now you have an option of choosing cameras in the aroma installer that will be discussed later in the video but i have chosen the s4 camera and it works absolutely fine and this rom overall is a pretty smooth rom and uh, it doesn't have much bugs actually it doesn't really have any bugs as of now it does come with the theming option it also comes with a smart manager that is the dual paginated one so that's nice in my opinion so you can use that and the battery life on this rom is also pretty good it's uh, certainly a little bit uh, below the allen 95 rom but still the battery life on this rom that you get is uh, excellent you can get up to two hours of uh, screen on time that is uh, good for this uh, device and also the standby time is uh, certainly improved it's a little improvement but still it is there now let's show you how to install this rom because obviously you will want to install this good rom so first uh, you will need the files i will leave a link in the description press the power button and the volume up button and also the home button at the same time to get into recovery now i am pressing them at the same time do note that you have to uh, download the file as i said first off you should wipe your device do not try a dirty install and then just locate the file that you have downloaded for the rom as you can see it's over here from me and just swipe to flash as you can see the intro screen was an s7 wallpaper and you can choose between the i9 500s4 and the note 3 obviously we're using the s4 here also choose the full wipe and also go go ahead and choose the camera that you want and also go ahead and choose the launcher that you want i recommend the 5.1.1 launcher not the 6.0 launcher because uh, the weather widget will get black but if you're uh, using the x widget then obviously it won't now click install it should take a while after that just click next and reboot device and it will take a little time so don't panic but you will have this rom installed successfully now so guys please uh, bear with me over here i'm a bit sick and also forgive me for the lighting and i uh, know all this fuzziness and stuff i'm really sorry for that but uh, what do i say uh, this is a pretty good rom for the samsung Galaxy s4 and looks a lot like the s7 and if you want uh, uh, ROM that looks like the S7 you should definitely go with this ROM otherwise I would recommend the Allen 95 ROM over this ROM because it's a bit faster in my experience but yeah guys that's my plan see you guys in the next